Over in France, authorities are seeking to re-establish a sense of normality by permitting the resumption of businesses for restaurants and cafes while restricting that of large-scale public festivities, that is, as health authorities continue to highlight the importance of social distancing. For more on the situation there, I have the Consul General Kim Chi Chun at the Korean Embassy in Paris live on the line. Welcome to the program, Mr. Kim. Thank you for inviting me. Now, the Cannes Film Festival and the Bastille Day Parade have been cancelled in light of the pandemic, but France is nonetheless taking gradual steps to transition out of its state of lockdown. What can you tell us about the latest situation there? Uh, let me explain briefly the corona situation here in France. Until today, France has had more than 154,000 confirmed cases and almost 30,000 deaths. The recent coronavirus positive rate is 1.6% compared to the 25% at the peak. At the peaks in March and April, 2,500 tests were positive, while 1.6400 tests are positive now. It's a big progress. Considering this progress, on June 2nd, last Tuesday, the French government lifted almost all the containment measures except Metropolitan Paris and Guyane, Mayotte, two of six territories. These three regions lifted their restrictions partially and will continue to do so gradually when cases drop. Actually, here in Paris, people are enjoying their freedom at only outside of the cafes and the restaurants. Public gatherings limit 10 persons and maximum. That's why we cannot see this ceremonies in Cannes and Paris this year. The French government may lift the lockdown poorly on June 22nd, which is the second starting day of the easing phase. At the end of this month or early next month, the government is considering reopening its border if cases drop. With easing the lockdown, the government adopts the track and trace system like Korea. These systems are carrying out well. Under this situation, people believe that the virus is being under control. According to the French Prime Minister, living with the virus, France should move forward cautiously. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kim, public rallies supporting the Black Lives Matter campaign are taking place in France as well. Are these massive gatherings sparking fresh fears of COVID-19? Yes, uh, there are lots of actually concerns on the potential second waves of the virus. Look at the current infection cases, which lack of several hundreds per day. Some experts also warn about the danger of many asymptomatics. That's why the French government eased the lockdown progressively. If cases rise again, there's always a possibility of re-tightening the restrictions. In this slide, on the day of easing the containment measures, the French Prime Minister stressed the cautious nature of the easing the lockdown and a readiness to back to the containment if necessary. However, the problem is economy. During two and a half months lockdown, the French economy suffered severe shocks with more than 10% loss in GDP. The lockdown cost a lot. We know there is a trade-off between the cost of easing the lockdown too soon and the cost of the delay. Their compromising solution will be a progressive easing with caution like the French government does. Starting from today, Mr. Kim, Korea has mandated a QR code system to log visitors at high-risk entertainment and sports facilities. Now, earlier, French media claimed that some K-quarantine measures violate privacy rights. What is the actual response in France regarding Korea's containment efforts? Yeah, during this pandemic, more than 10 French media covered the Korean stories on tackling COVID-19 every day. They considered Korea a model of success in managing this pandemic. The experts in well-known French academic institutes praised Korea for containing the virus without shutting down. The French government also adopted a similar strategy and measures relying on Korea's three keys, testing, tracing, and treating. 
When it comes to the tracing system and privacy, all democratic societies seek to find a delicate balance between them. French government also looked for ways to find a solution that can be accepted by the public. In this context, Korea was seen as an inspirational model for France in French parliament discussions on using smartphone tracing applications. Korean systems were courted many times as a model case, and the French Senate even issued a positive report on Korean prevention measures against COVID-19. I see. All right, Mr. Kim, the Consul General at the Korean Embassy in Paris, thank you for joining us at this hour with your thoughts. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Bye. My pleasure. You're welcome.